So Esther, do you have any more recommendations for me on uh, how to maintain the drainage system so that it may work effectively? Oh, Susie, when it comes to drainage, there are some do's and don'ts that all of us must adhere to for our drainage system to function very well. For instance, we should never, we should never, and I repeat it, flush sanitary towels, pampers, cavera, bottles, and all plastic things in a toilet. Because, yes, you're going to flush it and you see it going, but it is going to get stuck somewhere in the pipeline, and with the time, it is going to cause blockage in the drainage system. Secondly, those of us who are using biodigesters, I urge you never to flush food leftovers in the toilet. Reason being, those spices and oils that we use in cooking can suffocate those microorganisms and with time, those organisms die. And trust me, when those organisms are no more, our biodigester will not function well. When we look at our kitchen sinks, they usually come with sieves. And I would urge us that we should not remove those sieves because those sieves are meant to trap the solid particles. For instance, when we are washing our kitchen utensils, they trap those food leftovers so that we can pick them and throw them in the trash bin and allow water to pass through. As part of the recommendations, I would recommend that once in a while, for instance, every after one week, we boil water and we pour in our kitchen sinks so that it can help in dissolving all the fats that could be trapped in the drainage system. We talked about a grease trap. Once in a while, I would say we shouldn't wait for that time when the grease trap is filled up. We should make it a regular habit, like every after one month. We go and open that grease trap. We do the cleaning so that it can continue functioning very well. There are some chemicals on market that can be used for cleaning. So I would urge you that we go and purchase and we don't use plain water to do the cleaning because it's not enough. And lastly, those of us who are using biodigesters, we need to purchase those microorganisms and we add in after some time, after some recommended time, for instance, after six months, we add in so that our biodigester can continue functioning very well. Esther, the do's and don'ts that you have just given us are really important and I believe we should all follow them in order to maintain the drainage system. So thank you very much and all the best for this project. I can't wait to come back when it's ready and complete. You're most welcome, Susie. So it's our responsibility, right from the children to the adults, to preserve Mother Nature by draining only waste that is biodegradable and that which isn't should be thrown away in the trash bins. So I urge and humbly request that you watch this video again, share it with your children, your family, your friends, your neighbors, and together we shall preserve Mother Nature for a healthy, sustainable, and homely environment. Thank you.